Happy Friday, and thanks for watching This Week in Discovery News. I'm Trace, and each week I recap the top stories of the last seven days, plus your comments from Facebook and Twitter. This week we're talking about how early risers are happier, sexy penguins, and bionic eyeballs. Let's get started. Retinal prosthesis could help the blind see. Bionic eyes have been a dream for some time, and they've been featured in many science fiction epics throughout history. But the mechanical eye itself has eluded scientists so far. Now, new technology at Carnegie Mellon University is enabling the blind to see. Using a camera mounted on a pair of glasses combined with an implant embedded into the retina, scientists were able to give vision of 256 pixels to some people in lab conditions. The human eye has around a million nerves and over a hundred million rods and cones. Those are the things that allow us to see and also perceive color. So 256 pixels, not a lot. For example, here's what I would look like in 256 pixels. It's not much, but it is something. Damn, girl, your middle pixel looks good tonight. For the blind, the world can be a complex and often hazardous place, but they adapt and they see the world in their mind. For us that are visual, we might not be able to understand the world the way that someone who is born blind does, but they do just fine. My question is, do people who are born blind even want to be able to see? Of the people that are born deaf, some are opponents of the cochlear implant that allows them to be able to hear. They find it offensive. They get by just fine without hearing. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. To read more, visit discoverynews.com slash bionic eyeballs. Our second most popular story this week was rather titillating. Penguin sex acts shocked polar explorer. A 100-year-old report from a British explorer came to light this week, but why was it hidden? Why did it take so long? Well, it was deemed too graphic for publication. It would seem a daily penguins are rather... horny. George Levick, a surgeon and medical officer on Captain Robert Scott's famous 1910 mission to the South Pole, noticed that the penguins there were getting it on a lot. So he started taking notes. Not, not, not those kind of notes. I'm about to ruin your cute little view of penguins, so go ahead and take a moment to prepare. Penguins sexually and physically abuse baby chicks. They practice necrophilia, they have homosexual tendencies, they do non-procreative sex, and they sexually coerce other penguins, which basically is a nice way of saying rape. Penguins bring new meaning to the phrase, doing the dirty bird. <laughs> At the time, Levick was so shocked by what he was seeing, he wrote his notes in Greek so that if someone took his notebook, they wouldn't know what he was writing about. Now, 97 years after it was submitted for publication, it's finally available. Get the whole story at discoverynews.com slash dirty penguins. Our last story today settles an age-old debate. Who is happier, morning people or night owls? You might be one or the other, but the answer over time is morning people. According to a recent study, morning people aren't just chipper when the sun is coming up, they actually are overall happier people. As people age, they tend to get up earlier, with the teenage night owl behavior fading away as their social clock becomes altered. Work is a great example. To be more precise, only 7% of young adults are morning people, whereas it's the opposite for older people, only 7% of them stay up to watch Fallon and Ferguson. Why is this? Well, we don't know. We do know that society rewards those who get up early and forces the rest of us to join in, giving night owls sort of a societal jet lag. Can we study the benefits of nap time next? Get the story from A to Z's at discoverynews.com slash morning people. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching This Week in Discovery News. Make sure that if you want to see our coverage, that you like us on Facebook, you follow us on Twitter, and that you check out our Tumblr. You can also subscribe to our Discovery Daily Newsletter. Links to all of those and subscriptions can be made at discoverynews.com. Keep commenting and tweeting. I read all of them. And I'll see you next Friday. Penguins sex acts. <laughs> this is hard to say. I'm going to throw a dinosaur at you. Are we ready? You're going to never be any good, baby <laughs> penguin. Sex acts. i got so much to do. My friends are having all these babies. I gained some weight over the summer. You're never going to be in a Hollywood blockbuster. I have to say, I have to like all of their posts. Oh, it's hard.